Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to work on how to calculate the coefficient of variation. Now, like a lot of other formulas, there's actually two of these depending on whether you're working with a sample or a population. But the good news is, it doesn't really matter whether you're working with that sample or population because the formulas are basically the same. What you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, standard deviation, that'd be this top number, and you'll end up dividing it by the mean. So even though the notation is different, this is really just to signify whether we are dealing with a sample or a population. Now this value is really handy for comparing the variation of two different uh, groups, if they have a different mean, or if they're using completely different scales. Let's jump into an example and see exactly how this works and how easy it is to get a coefficient of variation. All right, so in this cooked up example, uh, what we have here is some data on store wait times in minutes. So here I have store number one and I have store number two. And the idea is we're trying to compare, you know, what the variation is between these. And we might expect that the, the mean for these store wait times, they're going to be different. So we have to do a little bit of work to find the standard deviation and the mean for each of these stores. I'm going to run through this really quick on my calculator. Don't worry, it won't take me very long at all. Uh, if you're curious about how to find the standard deviation and the mean, definitely check out my other videos. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, let's get to it. All right, now that we have the standard deviation and the mean for each of our stores, now it's a simple matter of dividing these and then multiplying by 100%. That 100 is really just a conversion so that we change it from a decimal into a percentage. All right, so let's see, we got 0.50709. This will divide it by 7.2. And then for our other one, 1.92037. This will be divided by 7.325. All right, we will multiply these by 100%. And again, this is just to convert it from this decimal into a percentage. So this first one will get 7.04%. And the other one we get about 26.22%. So now we have the coefficient of variation for each of them. And what this is really telling us is that we have actually more variation for store number two. And to really get a sense that that's kind of what we're measuring, imagine both these had exactly the same mean, then you're essentially just measuring that, that standard deviation. But as we get a larger value, a larger mean, uh, say for a second group of, of data, then we would also expect a larger value for that standard deviation. So this is scaling things back, making sure everything is comparable. All right, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.